What is going on, everyone? Jack's here walking down the street. Uh, may or may not be in focus because um, I'm doing some experiments on the autofocus on the uh, GH5 after the 2.6 update. I never updated to it. So I thought I would just come outside and do some experiments and see how it goes. Also, I was inspired by Matty Hapoya's recent vlog and Cody Warner's recent vlog about kind of using this as an opportunity to make the most out of this isolation and social distancing by just sort of creating and making all the time. So this is not motorcycle content. This is not car content. This is just me content, which is probably awful. And it just shows that I'm a total follower and I'm not original in any way. That's not what I wanted to say. I am completely original and awesome in every way. And I was not at all influenced by other people that I greatly admire. This was a completely original idea. Also, my child has ridden her scooter off somewhere and I don't know where because I was vlogging. So um, that makes me dad of the year. I like to go down there. It is freaking awesome outside today. Um, so, I mean, I guess there's some positive things about being in social isolation. Um, still might be totally out of focus. I'm not sure if the face detect picks up when you're wearing sunglasses because the Lumix GH5 is one of the most incredible video cameras ever made. I mean, this thing came out in 2017 and it's still totally relevant, but the autofocus, it's literal trash. The autofocus is so bad. If I walked into that field, which is full of fire ants, and I just stood there and let them slowly consume me, it would still not be as bad as this autofocus. Hallie's working on riding her scooter right now because Hallie struggles at um, riding everything. Last time I rode down a hill, I fell down into a trash can. But in my defense, it was a big hill. But I almost went all the way around. I'm pretty good at riding when it's flat. I just have trouble going, stopping, and turning, and everything else. Pretty much every aspect of riding a scooter, except the going part, you know, where you crash. This vlog could be the most out of focus vlog in the history of vlogs. No idea. Am I in focus right now? What about 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 now? And you clicked away. Can I go back and get a water bottle? I'm just waiting to see if this focus is on you. Oh. And it's not because it's kind of garbage. Typical Hallie fashion, we made it around the corner, and then she was like, let's go back home and get a water. <laughs> Why not? I think this is a really good opportunity for all of us to kind of get outside and enjoy the weather when it's nice, of course. I mean, it might still be terrible wherever you are, but this is a good opportunity to get out and enjoy, you know, the changing seasons and stuff. The kind of things that we miss because we're busy working and worrying about work. And now we're worrying about this other thing that's going on that's affecting so many people. And so I think it's an opportunity to kind of like Get back to focusing on the things that really matter, like, you know, family and health and nature and, and all the positives that we have to try in some small measure to take our minds off this really negative thing that we're all dealing with, which I think those opportunities are rare and they're important. And if we're stuck like this for a while, this might be the most positive thing for a lot of people. I get stuck holding this. It's about time to get out the wasp killer and bee spray because I freaking hate wasps. I will wage war on them all day long. Bees, it's cool, they're pollinators, I understand. I'll stay out of their way. But wasps, you can die. You can die in fire or wasp spray, which is more effective than fire because fire could cause lots of worse damage. Hey, people of the neighborhood, public service announcement. Clean up after your dogs. There is, there's one, that's two, three, like, is it a wolf? Is it a St. Bernard or a Great Day? They're massive, massive. Who thinks this is okay? When did coronavirus prevent you from picking up after yourself? Huh, will you look at that? 
Yeah, don't judge me, bro. I don't often say that the younger generations, uh, you know, they gotta get out more and stuff like that, because I'm a techno guy. I understand why they want to be on social media. But this one over here is telling me she's already hot and tired. I'm wearing jeans and a black t-shirt. And she already wants, she already wants to go home. Maybe someone needs to get out in nature a little bit more. I cannot hold this up while I drink water at the same time. Are you tough? Yes. How tough? Finally wearing flip-flops again. One thing you find about me is I live in flip-flops. Love flip-flops or sandals or whatever you want to call them. You know, the funny thing is, Ella, our oldest, when she was younger than Hallie, she was so good at scooting, she used to ride around at skate parks, like actual skate parks, and ride around with the other skateboarders on her scooter. This little like eight or nine year old girl flying around on a scooter. Hallie turned 10 recently and is still working on braking. Yeah, it is a fairly phenomenal day today. That is for sure. Days like today make me thankful that I have the life that I have and I'm able to do this, that we have the stability with our job. Yes, it's tough teaching from home, but we're able to make it work. And um, just thankful, thankful that I get to do this. I know a lot of people are struggling, so do your best to help everyone out there in whatever way that you can. It's just the right thing to do in times like this. One bummer is now it's pollen time. This is how we look when we do yard work. I'm busting out the iPhone vlog. We're going old school style because spring is fully sprung here in Georgia. And um, the pollen is like, it's like I, I, can, I can literally feel it. It's like going into my mouth, my eyeballs, my nose. Um, if you don't know what spring is like in the South, I'm gonna go inside later and take a shower. It's literally gonna be like yellow at the bottom of the shower. And that's gross. I'm not gonna film that though, unless you ask nicely. Also, got the wasp killer, because I'm gonna kill some wasps. Why? Because I can and I hate them. Step one, weeds have been sprayed. This is the backyard now that the um, septic tank was dug up in the fall. And guess what? Might have to have it dug up again, because you know, why not? So now I'm gonna move this big pile rocks, which are actually just patio stones, over here, because, you know, it looks better, I guess. So, kind of funny, that was a large pile of stones, like a couple hundred pounds of stones, and as you probably guessed, that giant pile of stones accomplished that much. It's funny how stupid I am sometimes. I mean, funny to other people. I don't think it's very funny because I recognize it, but um, yeah, I might need some more stones. Like, I don't know, a thousand pounds? How is it working from home? So far so good. I'm enjoying not, get, not getting up at 5 a.m., but it's a lot of work for teachers. It's a lot of work. It is what it is. I'm trying to be positive. What are you doing right now? Ordering for Mellow Mushroom. You should support your local small businesses. We're not going to eat there because that's not safe, social distancing at all. But you can get takeout, tip well, do what you can if you can. How is school from home? It's better because at school it takes like six hours, but at home it only takes like two hours. Because you're a good worker. Yeah. You get going and you finish. And Ella does. Hey, I've swiftly gotten on my summer schedule, staying up till 1 a.m., <laughs> sleeping past five. So that's a positive, right? Sort of. Sort of. Sort of a positive, but it's a lot of work. Kids ask a lot of questions and it's hard. I teach math, so it's really hard to do the math online. But thank goodness for technology. Normally I wake up at 5.30, but today I woke up at 10.30. Lazy bones. This is not TikTok. I refuse to participate. What are you looking for? International Space Station. I mean, it's not moving. It is a little bit. Hallie, what are we looking at? International Space Station. What dog do you want? A German Shepherd. Hallie, what dog do you want? Bernard. So, what do you think of this? 
This isn't a bad setup. I mean, the sound is still pretty bad, but I added some lights to the background. I've got a large light right here off camera. I tried putting up some blankets, but I don't know how much they're really helping to mitigate the sound issues. There's a lot of echo in this room, but it's coming along. Then it's what I hope to use, you know, like in the future without all the echo. But I just thought I'd try my hand at, you know, not necessarily daily vlogging, but just kind of connecting with you guys on camera and showing people a little bit of, you know, regular life. Because I think we could all use a little regular life right now at a time like this when life is anything but regular. Pretty much every day we find out new information and new you know, data and statistics that takes us a little bit further away from the routine, from the everyday. And now we're all kind of waiting. We're always waiting for that next piece of information that's going to come out that is going to, uh, I feel like it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to scare us or frighten us. Uh, I feel like it's, it's hard to be hopeful about the next piece of information. It's hard to be optimistic. It's like we're always waiting for something, something bad to happen. We're waiting for the other shoe to drop as the old saying goes. And so I think having a little bit of kind of normal life, a little bit of routine helps us to, to feel a little bit better. And, and I think that's sort of our job here, maybe on YouTube and social media is to promote a little bit more of the, of the reality. Maybe on Instagram, you know, a little bit fewer of the, you know, really produced posts, the posed posts, maybe a little bit more of just everyday life, you know. I wanna to try to get into that a little bit more. I wanna to try to share a little bit more about the everyday, about just kind of what's going on because we're all going through things. Some people are trying to find a sense of security. Some people are trying to find a sense of sort of like reality and the unreality. And I think if we can provide that without all of the special effects, or maybe with some special effects to kind of entertain and have some fun, but not necessarily detract from the seriousness of the situation, then maybe we can all find a little comfort in that. And I think that's at the end of the day what it's really about. It's just about comfort. It's about a sense of routine, a sense of regularity, a sense of almost having faith that something will pop up that you can trust to be comforting or entertaining or informative or anything that you really want. I thought it was really interesting. I, I follow Matty Hapoya on YouTube. Um, you should too, because he makes a lot of really interesting camera and tech videos, but just he's a really interesting and genuine guy. And he kind of put the call out for people to just sort of vlog, you know, just talk about life. And I thought that was a really, a really smart way of putting it. Just, it was a really kind of thoughtful way of putting it. It was a really genuine way of putting it. And, and if you if you get into Maddie's content, you'll see that he's one of the most genuine guys that I follow on YouTube. I think he's really cool. And, and he doesn't know me and I don't know him. I'm just sort of saying this as a, as a consumer of his content. And then Cody Warner, another, another really kind of genuine, authentic YouTuber, sort of picked up the challenge and ran with it. And, and I follow both of them, and I, I just really was inspired by that. I, I was really inspired by the idea that we could all help each other out. We can do something for each other just by creating, just by being as, as normal and as authentic and real and kind of like raw as possible. <laughs> I say that after having set up this whole like freaking studio setup, but I, I was just trying to do this because it's something I want to do in the future. And hey, look, we got nothing but time, right? So I figured, well, I'll just use my time wisely and I'll kind of put some stuff together. So I know I'm not like daily vlogging, but I, I am going to try to just sort of have the camera with me as we go around the house. The girls are working on their sort of online school. Mrs. Jax and I being teachers, both of us are running online classes. So I always say that I have I have three jobs. I'm a, I'm a full-time high school teacher. And I'm practically a full-time coach of a sport in the school year and in the summertime. And then I do this um, and, and make content, social media stuff. So really I'm juggling three different jobs. And I did say in, in past videos that I would, I would get into that. I would talk about that a little bit more um, without kind of getting into the nitty gritty details. But, but I do want to share that simply because I think we should all share things. What, what, could, what could I share that might help bring people some comfort? What could you share that might help bring people some comfort? Because at the end of the day, being a creator or a creative or an influencer, whatever name they want to put on it, it's just a name. 
We're all creators. We're all creative people. We all have a story to share. And maybe some of you guys out there could help spread awareness about some of the things that you're going through that other people are no doubt going through as well. I didn't intend for this vlog to sort of turn into a PSA on the sort of times that we're all dealing with, but I do think it's important that we, that we recognize it. We can't run from it. I know it seems like we can't escape it because it's on the news, it's on every freaking channel, everywhere you look, it's all about you know, all of the negativity. But I do think that we can help each other in, in ways that maybe we don't expect. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was a little bit different. I know it wasn't car, motorcycle content. I got a notification. I'm not even gonna edit that out because this is real. But I hope this video brought you some sense of comfort. That's really the only reason that I'm posting it. Um, it's not to, you know, it's not because I think it's gonna go anywhere. It's not because I think it's gonna do anything. It's just for you. So let me know what you thought of it in the comments down below. And uh, instead of ride safe and drive safe, which I normally end on, um, I'm just gonna end on what I keep telling my students on their, uh, on their schoolwork. Um, stay safe and stay sanitized and uh, we'll all get through this together, all right? I'll catch you in the next video, whatever it may be. This is Jax. Hope you're having a good one. Peace. This isn't going anywhere, is it? I have no makeup, I haven't showered. Just gonna put it on YouTube.